So the main reason why your colors are muddy while creating transparent gradients is because you haven't clicked the like button yet. So just do it right now. And if that doesn't fix it, there might be another reason which I'm gonna show you right now. So let's just create a square, which we can apply our gradient to. So we can just disable the stroke, go to the fill and apply the gradient by clicking the gradient slider in the gradient panel. If this panel isn't open, you can go to window and find it right here. So if your colors are muddy while you create transparent gradients, it is probably because you do it this way. You choose the color you want, put it down into the gradient, then click this color and turn down the opacity. This way our gradient slides from purple to no color. But as you can tell right here, this color in between the purple and no color is not very pleasant. It sort of goes from purple to gray to no color. But there's a simple fix for this. The reason is that it does actually matter which color you have right here, even though the opacity is at zero. Because the way transparency work is that it's only fully transparent right here, which is right at the end. Right here it is actually more like 10% black with a bit of purple than 20% black and a bit of purple. Therefore, if we want the transparent gradient to go from purple to no color, to get a clean result, we actually want to set both colors to the same color. So let's take a copy. And for this copy, we take the purple color and apply it also to the right side of the slider. And as you can tell right here, we get a clean purple color all the way through until it hits fully transparent. Thank you for watching.